Okay, so this is the very basic introduction to pendulum dowsing. And first thing we need to learn is how to hold it. So basically, we use either three fingers of our dominant hand, the thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger, or just the thumb and the index finger. And uh, the length of the string is quite a bit individual. And uh, for me, it's between one and three inches. If it's too short, then you, you may sacrifice the accuracy. If it's too long, you may have to wait a long time before the pendulum moves. So, here we go. I usually put the rest of the string inside, inside my hand and hold the pendulum. As you can see, I arch my wrist so that my fingers are in line with, with the string of the pendulum. And the first thing we want to do is to give the pendulum a little movement, see how it goes. Just let it go. Don't control your wrist. And the first question we need to ask is to show us the yes answer, the movement for the yes answer. And in my case, as you can see, it's a clockwise rotation. Yours could be different. Yours could be back and forth or whatever. It's yours. And uh, to clarify, we're not asking the pendulum. We are asking our subconscious mind. That's where the programming is. And. Uh, now we need to ask what our no answer is. And in my case, it's a counterclockwise counter rotation. And those two are the two most important basic pendulum movements. 